you know, I, uh, there's a time of every, uh, there's a time during every Harmon show where the end of my nose starts to tingle and my, my Oh, lips... you have to go back to the powder room? No, 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 no. <laughs> and my lips start to plump and I, I start feeling stronger and um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's D&D time. Should I uh, pass out the characters? Yes, please dispense the yes. characters, Spencer. All right, then be entertaining. <laughs> hey, everybody. This really is a, a wonderful city and a cool space, so congrats on you. Hey to the guy in the, with the UCB hat up front. It's cool. I don't know. I was just saying hello. <laughs> Stay where you are. We'll talk after. I screwed up this music. I'm sorry. I'll do it over again. For what's the other? What's the other? What's the other? Uh, the Twin Cities is the Saint Saint Paul. Yeah. So do you guys all know Garrison Keillor? No. Is that a hat? No. <laughs> so you hate Garrison Keillor? Yes. Whoa. Um, no, I'm sorry. Who 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 hates Garrison Keillor? You. Why why do you? What's your name? He talks too slow. Is that your only reason for disliking him? Does anyone have a better reason for disliking Garrison Keillor? Yes. Right. Ah. Right. What? All right. Yeah. Yeah, that is a little annoying. Gar she, she said he sings. That's true. Like he puts himself on everything. Yeah, it is. It's his show. Says says Arthur Keillor in the in the background. If you've, if you've just joined us, uh, Aaron asked, uh, do you guys like Garrison Keillor uh, to 225-year-olds? Uh, uh, <laughs> who shockingly replied no. There was, there was a mixed reaction. The answer, the answer to, the, the, to the question, why not, is uh, he's 109 years old. He, his show is 70 hours long. Uh, he, he, he sings and talks about uh, 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 being in a, in a city. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's the Dan Harmon of the future. Uh, but then everyone started yelling at each other. One, then one guy, I'm, I'm, I'm relaying this to the podcast people because no one can hear people in the audience. Then a, another guy <laughs> said, it's his fucking show about Garrison Keillor. <laughs> like kind of a punk rock guy sticking up for Garrison Keillor. And then, and then and people are going back and forth. Um, and and now, now you're all caught up if you're listening to this in podcast form. Uh, I like little, that guy. Uh, he likes rhubarb, pi rhubarb pie and uh, powder milk biscuits. Rhubarb pie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, can you do a, uh, a, a monologue as Garrison Keillor about your day? About, uh, I'd, I'd like to do it about rhubarb pie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jimmy, I your, your dog up. come here Jimmy's <laughs> shirt right now. <laughs> I woke up this morning. Uh, in Lake Wobegon uh, with uh, tremendous erection. <laughs> You're Bane from uh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go with it. Be Bane as Garrison Keillor, as you. My cock, Batman, is stronger than your body. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's 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 do some let's do some D and D. The weather in Lake Wobegon, G Gotham, <laughs> Lake Gotham. <laughs> the people will no longer stand for rhubarb pie. <laughs> Margaret made her famous fruit cake and brought it over to the Jacobson's house for what promised to be a perfectly ordinary Thanksgiving. <laughs> the embers were warm. The crime was rampant. <laughs> and the justice was ultimately mine. All right. Batman. 
Being Dan Harmon, everybody. That's the news from Lake Gotham, <laughs> where the children are victims. <laughs> the poor are enslaved. And everyone's spirit will be broken. Here we go. That's great. Bam.